Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at two very fast airplanes. First, the very famous TBM 940. And next, the newly certified plane, the Epic E1000. Both are very new single engine turboprop aircraft. The TBM is a high performance single engine turboprop light business and utility aircraft that offers the ultimate developments in avionics and comfort for general aviation aircraft. As an evolution of the TBM 900 and of the TBM 930, the TBM 940 retains the airframe commonality with its predecessors while opening a new era by offering an enhanced human machine interface environment for pilots and providing more comfort to its passengers. The Epic E1000 is an American single-engine six-seat turboprop light aircraft developed by Epic Aircraft of Bend, Oregon. The initial aim was for the Epic E1000 to be the fastest single-engine civil aircraft at the time of its introduction. The flight deck of the TBM features touchscreen Garmin G3000 suite. On the other hand, the Epic E1000 features a three-screen Garmin G1000 NXI avionics package. We will compare the power plant of these two aircraft. The engine manufacturer for both the TBM 940 and the Epic E1000 is Pratt & Whitney Canada, which is pretty common on turboprop single-engine aircraft. Both the TBM 940 and Epic E1000 are powered by PT6 A-Series engines. For the TBM 940, it has a PT6-66D engine model with a power rating of 850 sharp horsepower. The Epic E1000 has a PT6A-67A engine model with a power rating of 1200 shaft horsepower. Both aircraft have heart cell propellers. The TBM 940 has five blade composite propellers and the Epic E1000 has four bladed propellers. Next is a comparison between the performance of these aircraft. Just a quick disclaimer for both of these aircraft based on performance. For the TBM 940 directly from TBM, performance data is based on ISA conditions, max takeoff weight, and no wind. Range is based on the same conditions with one pilot and 45 minute fuel reserves at 31,000 feet. And for the Epic E1000, performance data is based on certified performance data. When it comes to speed, the newly certified Epic E1000 wins. It has a max cruise speed of 333 knots, just 3 knots faster than the TBM 940, which has a max cruise speed of 330 knots. The Epic E1000 can fly higher with a service ceiling of 34,000 feet, while the TBM 940 can fly up to 31,000 feet. It's definitely worth mentioning that the Epic E1000 can climb at a rate of 4,000 feet per minute. The TBM advertises that it can reach 31,000 feet in 18 minutes and 45 seconds, which is about 1,650 feet per minute. Compare that to the Epic E1000 climbing at 4,000 feet per minute, meaning it could reach its ceiling in under nine minutes. Next, onto the range of these two aircraft. The TBM has a range of 1,440 nautical miles when flying at 326 knots at 31,000 feet, but at a slower 252 knots, it can fly 1,730 nautical miles. The Epic E1000 has a range of 1,385 nautical miles when flying at 325 knots at 34,000 feet but at a slower 265 knots, it can fly 1,650 nautical miles. So the TBM can fly further. We won't be comparing the operational costs in this video because I was unable to find reliable fuel burn data on the Epic E1000. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to know your thoughts on the new Epic E1000 and the new TBM 940. If you enjoyed this comparison video, please leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notifications when I upload a new video. That's all for this video. It's been Marlon the Aviator, and I'm out.